Cyber Ninja Online guys, welcome back to Gilded Engineering. This is chapter 5. This is chapter 5. And uh, when we last left off, we had... Go in here. Conquered Embro. So we got his towel. We basically beat the Fire Lord, aka Embro here. And uh, now we're on to new and better things. The last purchase we just got was the Idol of the Crone. So basically what that does is it lets us have plus 1 starting hand size in battle permanently now. Instead of... Uh, the talisman which only gave us plus one starting hand size in battle for the first two fights um so that's going to be a huge help because we're basically going to go into every battle with four cards instead of uh three and uh i think we determined that the next purchase we're going to get is the barbarian just because uh zinc has been the best my favorite character thus far and he's a bruiser the barbarian is basically the upgrade version of him so that's going to be the next one we're going to get so Let's go exploring, and we have two places to go to now. One is the Lich Lair, which I'm really not looking forward to. I hate Liches in any game. I think that's how you pronounce it, is Lich. Um, and then the other one is this one. So, Adventure, None Shall Pass. Quest 1, Test Your Metal. Defeat a Skeleton. Quest 2 is Flea, and Quest 3 is Dark Duel. There's only one character we haven't used yet, and that's Stapper. So, I think we're going to take Stapper out for a test run here. We'll see how well he does. Um... And then we're just gonna go from there. So, so you stop her and let's go and do this. Feet one skeleton. So there's a skeleton right there. So basically, what I can do is put this room. No, I can't. Ah, I see. So let's go ahead and put this room here then. This here. That there. Bullhorns. Doesn't start with any traits, unfortunately, but that's fine. Let's use this because I can't risk losing that card. Fuck, it's unblockable. That's what happens when I don't pay attention. We won, though, which is nice. Go ahead and get repel three or repel whatever. Pretty closed ended here. Um, what is he got? One magic that's unblockable. I'll use Copcat. What? Well, doesn't help me at all. So let's go ahead and use this. Um, let's get rid of Fiery Weapon. I don't think I ever showed that, by the way. Yeah, if, if you get this, you get to choose. Because you only had two left, that's the one I got to choose, but... Um... I guess I haven't because I haven't used this character yet. In any case, though. It's going to be a waste if I use that. So I'll use it next turn. This turn here. Actually, no, I'm not. Imaginary Cannon. I do like how your character, um, whatever equipment you give him, he actually appears with it in his hand there. It's a nice little added bonus. Add that gem there. I really don't want to fight this, but... Gonna throw it there anyways. Let's go ahead and close this off. So basically, I made a closed-ended dungeon. I don't think we've ever done that yet. Which is surprising. Let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and do this and kill him. But yeah, if I get one more card, then there's literally nothing else I can put down in the way of tiles. Get that soldier's helmet. Basically, it has to be a four-way path. Haha. -ha. So yeah, we've never done this before, but there you go. <laughs> nine by nine. It doesn't even have to be nine by nine. You can literally do it anything if you get the right cards to pull, obviously. Um, Let's go with the fire imp because he's going to lose health. 
I'm actually worried for this fight, but hopefully I'll be okay. It's unblockable, so snake in with this. So use your Kindle. And then basically I blocked his attack more or less. So if he's successful that way, he gains two health. Let's use this so I can make him discard something. Bite. Then I get three health, or three health, I get three damage for this next one here. This music's kind of droning, by the way. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use this and... Fuck, I'm an idiot. I still killed him, but that could have been bad. I want that red mail. If I take that, I get tenacious, which might be better than... Nah, let's take the red mail. If I get another chance at getting tenacious, then I will, but... I don't know why it gave me pieces I can't build anywhere. Shrugs. <laughs> Love that. Um, let's go ahead and put that there, the Mimic. Hopefully he doesn't choose to f go that way. He probably will, unfortunately, but... What the hell? Conceal. Play battle card face down. Damn. Okay, this is bad. This is pretty bad. So basically, we're fighting him blind here and hoping for the best. But it wasn't that bad. We conquered. Let's just take the gold on that one. I don't want to go down that way. Making me fight all the shit enemies. I see. I should have put the loner there. I don't know what I was doing. Let's get rid of that one. Because I have magic attacks in my hand. And I can block one of these anyways. Basically, this will cancel it out, so I'm going to do that. Two, and he blocks the one. Let's go ahead and do this, because then... Yes. I can just do this and kill him. Hopefully, the character start, stops screwing around, and then we can go for... Holy crap. Block all physical damage, plus two to next physical attack. Wow. I lose the one health, unfortunately, from that, though. That just gives me stupidity, so I'm not even going to go for that. Let's just take the gold on that one. So I'll come fight this guy, and hopefully I'll come over and fight that guy. This is a tough one. Yes, I discarded the stupidity card. That actually turned out better than I expected. Get rid of bite. Two health left. He's dead. Never mind. I don't know why I thought that. He's gonna do three damage, so I can block all that. He's gonna do two damage, unfortunately, but as long as I block one. Doesn't really matter what I do here. We leveled up. Let's go ahead and take that mace. Massive gem. We'll fight that on the way too. Another creature. We should get a fair amount of gold from this one, thankfully. Let's just take our lumps. I hate to say it, but... We'll be able to kill this guy, I know we will.
I'll be fine. Ooh, damn. So he's gonna do three damage to me, and he's gonna block two. I'll take the three damage and be able to kill him. I still kinda want that Warhorn, but I'm not gonna take it. Looks like we're finally going for the skeleton. Fortunately, won't be able to get that diamond, but that's fine. Hmm. Let's not use headbutt. Nice to have in my hand though, in case I need it. Should be able to do three damage with this. And this is him dead. Finally finished the first quest there. It kind of dragged on a little bit, but we did get a lot of gold. 102 to be exact. Start with Holy One. So it's not always bad, but. More often than not, it kind of seems like it has been bad. And the battle scars I'm talking about, by the way. In your grave. <laughs> so where are we at? Quest 2, flee, defeat a minotaur. This is the one I'm thinking of. This one is annoying as hell, and I don't want to make Stapper go through that. So let's take Zinc 4, because I know it's not. I know I'm going to die if I use Stapper there. And it's kind of the same thing as the uh, the Mimic. You kind of want to stay away from this guy until you have to fight him. Um, hmm. Let's just trade strikes with him, more or less. I gotta use shift. There we go. One more attack and he's dead. There we go. So you're starting to see that we're kind of getting the same cards. Um, that's not always going to be the case. He has 10 health. Fury, which means when he's at half health, he does double damage. And Decay, which means if he takes more than 2 damage, he takes an extra damage for it. I'm kind of screwed here. So I'm going to have to force my guy to come down this way. I'd rather fight the scorpion than the bear owl. If I have to fight him, I might get something to detour out of there. We basically have this null dead already. Just like that. That's why I like using the bruiser. Super easy to use. He's fun to use. Let's take that one. So he's like right on my ass, which is unfortunate. What did I get from that uh, fountain anyways? Uh, unblockable damage or attack gets one uh, magic damage per fight or for the next fight, sorry. I want to stay away from that. Just throw the skeleton down there. It's not going to hurt. We have nothing else. Kind of a last ditch effort here, fighting the scorpion before I have to fight the minotaur. I don't think the minotaur is extremely bad, but you never know. I almost blocked that by the way, and then I looked again and I'm like, wait, don't do it. As long as he doesn't block magic damage the next attack, I should kill him. Yeah, I killed him. Almost misclicked there, holy. Okay, so this is rather important what I choose because this is going to dictate plus one on next magic attack, plus one hurt, draw a card. This one is plus one magic attack, damage each turn. 
I was going to say, this is kind of important because it dictates the Minotaur fight pretty much. And I think I'm going to take that cap. Okay. I got this, I hope. So let's go ahead and hit him with the Flame Lash. I really don't want to burn that right now, but it helped me gain the lead there, so... Fuck, he's taking every sorts of damage he can think of take. That didn't even make sense, but you know what? I just said it. Let's use Mind Strike so I can get an extra card. So I basically don't lose a card off of that. And uh, this should be him dead. Yeah. It wasn't so bad. We got 57 gold out of it. We got Gullible, unfortunately. So one loot choice is of a lower level than normal. Plus one to all gold gained from treasure. That's not too, too bad. I think Zinc's been around for quite a bit now. Or Zinc the fourth, anyways. He's had three dungeon runs so far. So he has Gullible and Agile. He has 16 kills. He's earned 331 gold for us. You can't go wrong with that. Come on. Let's go exploring. This one. Quest 3, Dark Duel. Defeat the Black Knight. I think I want to go with Zinc again. Ozzy just doesn't have any defensive abilities, which is a shame. Death, excuse me, it's fun to use. But this is going to be a lot of physical damage, I know. Zinc is probably the best choice, like I said. Ninja, it's a good balance, but it's just slow. And Stapper, he's not bad too, but I don't think I'll need to use Stapper. I think my best choice would be Zinc here. Zinc the fourth. Duel in eight turns. Mundane. Incoming magical attack. Attacks get plus one damage. So maybe I should have chose death to come in this fight. I don't know what duel in eight turns mean. Maybe he fights us no matter what in eight turns. But he might be power powered up when we, like, when he does. Kind of want to go out for those chests. Chestesses. Start off with a fire imp. Nothing horrible. Don't want to waste any of my better attacks for that. Same with this one. Uh, let's go ahead and take the card, I guess. Block the one. One health left. He's dead. It's kind of closer than it needed to be, but that's fine. I'm gonna take the femur. I think it was a femur anyways. Fountain of Knowledge. I don't mind that. I wouldn't mind detouring for this chest before we go fight the guy. Hmm. It's either I take one or I give one and take two. Let's do that. I'll take two and give one. I don't think so. so. That's why I really like this is because of Spiky. So even when I play defensive, I still do damage to him, which is probably the best scenario. So let's take one and deal two. Getting pretty close to death here, though. I don't like that. That should kill him. It was close, but we prevailed. Probably going to go for that wooden board. Ooh. No, I'm going to go for that because I get repel from that anyways. And that way. I could have put that corridor here. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's fight the Gnoll instead of the Skeleton. So that's one, two. Ooh, holy crap. Look at the hand size. Let's use Bash. Gigantic hand size. And we got 
pretty good, uh, um, health too. I think this is the biggest hand size I've, hand size I've ever had before. It's crazy. Well, he's basically dead anyways, but, uh, let's heal one at least. Let's take that, because I want fleet-footed. Let's take the room instead of the corridor there. Ah. Fighting this guy for the uh, chest and his loner trait happens, so he loses his health because he's at a dead end. So instead of having seven health, he gets six, but he is playing with concealed, which is uh, bothersome to say the least. Holy shit. Very, very, very bothersome. Basically, I'm just going to try to uh, out-damage him here. Thank God I got that. I should kill him. That was extremely uh, rough. That could have gone really bad really fast. Fortunately, I don't think this has anything I want now. Three magic damage blocks all damage? Holy shit. Unfortunately, I don't think I want it, so I'll just take the gold from that. I should have put that on him, actually. Let's do that now. Let's do that now. I'd rather have the scorpion there than anything else. So he's going to do 3 damage and he's going to block 2. So I might as well do 2 damage to him. See, it's easier if I know what he's going to play. But if I don't know what he's going to play, that makes it 10 times harder on me. Yeah, if I don't know what he's going to play, that makes it 10 times harder on me. And I misread that 110%. The hell am I doing? That's not going to kill him either. Shit. This should kill him. Thank God. Too many close, co close quarters, I was going to say. Too many close uh, battles. Well, it looks like I get one more move before we duel, so... Bandito up there, I guess. Either way, I get a gem. Hmm. We'll trade blows. Two, it's unblockable, so I might as well just hit him with one. Not waste the unblockable there. Let's block that. Then he takes the one damage still. I'll do two damage to him. Killed him. Aha! Can't block this, brah. Mm, don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that either. Let's just take the gold. So, like I said, incoming magic attacks get plus one damage. So this should be three instead of two. Can't block that anyways, so... Let's try to use magic attacks on him. But uh, I'm not going to worry about it if I can't. I'm going to use this one. Well, it's kind of forcing my hand here. Hopefully I discard the stupidity card. Damn, I didn't. Takes damage from that. I get to heal one, so basically I don't take any damage from that card. Trade. It's a good thing I traded. 
I ain't saying I'm the best ever, but no, I'm kidding. Uh, that was a close battle. I think that's the first time we did it. Well, I don't think it's the first time we did it on the first attempt, but we got 174 gold. I don't even know how much gold we have. It's actually glory, by the way, which is utterly confusing because you pick up the gold in the the uh, the dungeons and it's set on all that. But then here, it's not gold; it's glory, and it says on the loading screen too. So it's kind of confusing. So there you have it, the Black Knight's helm. So we did it in the first run through. So yeah, that was the first time we've done it since the Rat King's Tale, which was like the first starting dungeon. So, um, Umbro's Towel wasn't bad. It only took us five runs and there was three for that. So we only died one time. Yeah, we only died once. And that was on Umbro. I think it was some stupid death. But yeah, so basically we got to get a hundred more glory and then I can get the, uh, the Barbarian, the campsite and get the Barbarian unlocks. And then... We can go do one of my favorites now. I have a feeling this is going to be utterly annoying, but we'll do the Evil Lich Adventure. So, I'm going to end it here, and then when we come back, we'll do all that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you have anything to say, comment down below. As I was kind of splurring, splurring, slurring, you know, whatever. Anyway, so guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you have anything to say, comment down below. And subscribe and share, as it really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.